Hello everyone, Creeper Killer 1736 here in the creative mode builds on Lifeboat Games. Uh, I'm not starting in the lobby today just because it would probably crash my recording if I loaded in all this stuff at once, but um, here we are. As you can see, there's literally stuff everywhere, but we're going to get started. Um, there's a few things I'd like to say before we get started in. Uh, we're just going to kind of go through. I divided all this off, so... This, I mean, you can build whatever you want. Like, I built this nice little house. I, I, my specialty is medieval builds like this. I mean, I love building cottages and stuff like that. Um, and then you can, there's trees and stuff. But, okay, enough with that. So, this is what's special about creating my builds. So, one, signs don't work. I could, here, get a sign here and put it down. And then I could type, uh you know, something, and whenever I exit the sign, it deletes it, so you cannot have signs with writing on, you also, these are the um, blocks that you would have in your house in normal Minecraft that you would, you know, interact with, like chests and stuff, but you can't open them, you can hear I'm clicking, and I can't open them, so they're like aesthetic only, none of these will open at all, not one of them. TNT will not explode, and this is the abomination they have for lava and water. I guess this is from having a tick speed of zero or something. I don't know what they're doing, but like I had to manually place every single one of these lava blocks, but that makes it really loud because there's like a hundred of them. Um, and also, there are these lucky blocks that are dried kelp wet sponge and sponge. If you plan on using any of these blocks in your builds, uh, they you can get definitely kelp and stuff. You can't use them because they're textured as lucky blocks. And a few things about the inventory. Uh, a lot of the blocks are here. This is pre-1.19. Uh, pre-119. Uh, uh, I don't know what the technical term is, but 1.9, it's pre that, it's 1.8 is what this server is. Uh, so there's no dripstone or anything like that. There's no weapons or armor. The only thing in here is cake. Uh, then in here, there is no redstone, dust, or anything like that, but there is redstone. Like, I mean, you can you put repeaters down, which, I mean, you can't power them. So that's kind of pointless. I don't know why they left all this stuff in here. But, I mean, there's torches, you can, um, you can not power these. And in here, there is everything normal, there's, some of the plants are missing, uh, your, there's no crops, like, if I was to plant this bamboo, it is never gonna grow. I put that right there, it's never gonna grow. You're gonna have to manually build it up. And... There's a few other things I like to mention. Since this runs on zero ticks per second, you can't throw stuff out. Uh, and that's it for the blocks. I mean, you can build whatever you want. I mean, this guy built like a giant, like I think that's Skeppy thing. This guy's building a whole castle. This guy is really building like a whole sky base thing. There's a I think that's a Dragon Ball Z character. I'm not going to say anything because I don't know what it is. Okay. In Plot Manager, you have this book. You cannot get rid of it. It always comes back. This is what controls your plot. Um, you can hit clear. So I'll say this. It would clear everything. You can save. So if I want to save plot, I could... So, now here's the thing. If I hit create new, it's going to tell me that I saved it. But let's say I change one thing and then I try to save this one, it's not going to save it. You can only ever have, you can only ever have one. You can have more if you are a server VIP and you pay for the extra build plots and also if you pay for it, you can get, this is a 32 by 32 plot, you can get a 64 by 64 plot. So you get bigger plots and stuff if you pay uh, I'm not interested in doing that, but there's also back to spawn, let's take you back to the uh, creative mode spawn, you can teleport to any plot, these are all the people who are currently online, 
in here somewhere. You can teleport to their bot if you want to. Um, there's also your plot time. Uh, so you could have day. So right now I currently have it set as day, but I can set it as night. And then whenever I'm in my plot, it's night, but whenever I'm everywhere else, it's day. Or whatever they have it set to. So night is good for like aesthetic. Like if you build a village, you want to see where the lighting is. I think these lanterns look so much better at night. That's just a building tip. This isn't a building tip video. I'm trying to show you how these run. Tutorials, um, I do not believe that they have any, like, wand. Like, it says right here, you can get build structure and stuff, but I don't believe you can actually, like, slash position one. I don't think these actually work, because I've never gotten them to work. One sec. Position one okay. see we can't i'm not i mean i don't know if i'm doing that right but you're not allowed to use world edit unless you're vip and you pay for it and i believe that's about it if you want to load a spawn you just hit this load save hit it and it's already loaded so okay, let's just change one thing just put some stuff down it should clear these away hit load save and boom oh well i guess it's saying it's already loaded and then if you ever want to clear, you just go to clear plot, you hit clear, yes. And it'll take a second, but there you go, everything's gone. So, that's about all there is. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this video and want to see more. The next mini game, uh, if you comment down below what you want to see, you'll get a shout out. And that'll be the one picked. Your choices are survival games, lifeboat, uh, survival games, zombie apocalypse, and capture the flag. Uh, I'll do some videos on those. And I'll see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe. Peace.